Hi guys, I wanted to talk about my mental health. So I have been struggling recently. I have been diagnosed with PTSD. I have depression, I have autism, anxiety, and now PTSD. Um, my ex did some very bad stuff to me. And as a result, I have PTSD. Plus post-traumatic stress disorder, I'm going through therapy for it and I'm hopefully gonna be getting better. But I struggle. And so do be able to help me with my therapy and whenever I have breakdowns or autistic meltdowns or PTSD or panic attacks or I'm just having a really, really bad day with depression or my anxiety or anything, um, I've created a box. Well, I'm, I'm going to get a better box, but I've created a box of sensory items or toys um, to be able to help me when like having hugs with my family or doing the therapy isn't essentially working or helping or I just need something to fiddle with or something just to keep me occupied if I'm a bit fidgety or anything so I'm going to go through <laughs> my uh, sensory box on the top here is my stitch plushie it's my biggest stitch I own he usually sits on my bed and I just hug him he's really cute I love him but he normally sits on my bed but if I'm feeling really bad especially at night I will hug him in my bed and I'll hug him because he just really helps and comforts me um I also have a little stitch in here for in case I can't find big stitch so my family can just give me a big stitch a little stitch as well this one's got the arms I got this at Disney and Paris I love stitch and then I also have Angel in here too, just because she's also got the long uh, antennas, I don't know what you call them, but they're really soft and really cute and it's just something I can hug and I can squeeze and something that's soft to help. Um, I then got the um, your slow release uh, stress balls. I've got two, I've got this panda, this galaxy panda. And it smells of watermelon. Oh, it smells so good. My boyfriend loves this one the most. So, I, this one's a jumbo one. I didn't realise I ordered jumbo. But it's for when I get really anxious or anything, I can just squeeze it and it would help. Uh, just to, when I'm anxious, just being able to see it slowly rise back up again. Uh, my boyfriend really likes using this one. I also have a little unicorn one. This one smells of strawberries. He's really cute. I love him. I don't know what to call him. They both need names, really. But I don't have names for them. This one is my little unicorn. And it's just a small one for I can't find the big one. And it's just so comforting just being able to squish them and like be able to take anger out on it or whatever and just have it slowly rise back up again. I really like these. They're really nice and it means I shall keep nagging with my sisters. I then have... I don't particularly enjoy using these, but I have one just in case. And this is a fidget cube. I've got one in a galaxy design. And it's got like the different bits. So it's got that. It's, it's just got loads of different sides and bits you can fidget with. Um, they're not the best. I don't particularly enjoy them very much, um, but it's just something just to help, really. My, uh, I've also got a fidget spinner. Without wow, seeing it in the camera and then seeing it in front of me, I can see it, it's really cool. Um, I like the sound of it, it's just really nice and simple to use. My sister hates the sound of it, but like it's just something, something so soothing about having a fidget spinner. I've had this one since fidget spinners came out. And then one of my most favourite things that I've ordered is a tangle. Yes, I know little kids use them. But I've just got a really nice little pink one and this is the thing I've been playing with the most because that means like when I get fidgety or anything, um I can just do this. It doesn't really annoy my family very much because it's not very noisy. Um, like 
oh i just love this one so much it's just really nice and comforting and i can just i can use hours for that one <laughs> that sounds so sad i have crossword um even though i can't complete all the ones on it i go through and i do like i've completed a few but there's ones where I do the bits that I can do and do know. Um, but it's just something to take my mind off when I'm getting really anxious. So I can put all this energy that's going on into something. So it's a bit more productive. So I have a crossword. I also like doing word searches, but I didn't have one of those. I need to get one. I then ordered... I've got crayons, but they're not in this box at the moment. I then got a pack of pencils, some colouring pencils, and I've got some felt tips because I have ordered, I have a colouring book, I just got this one today, and it's um, one of positive quotes, so it's got um, colouring pages like this that says never stop leaving, um, that you can colour in, and I'm going to be doing that in a little bit because I like doing colouring I've got other ones with quotes in I've got Harry Potter one I've got patterns um some of these like aren't the brilliantest of quotes um well, there's one in here that says no excuses um but like it's just gonna be able to help me be able to calm myself and everything and I can't like not knock that like if it's gonna help me at the end of the day then like i'm 24 this year and having all of these like little bits and pieces where i can have a tangle or like just have something to go to when i'm having really bad like anxiety attack or the PTSD attack or my depression's bad or my anxiety is bad or my autism is bad that day I can have something my family and my partner can go to and just give me something out of it so I can try and calm down or put energy they can say go do a sensory box go and do some colouring or play with a tangle or squeeze a toy or hug stitch they can find something just to calm me down I'm going to possibly try and include a clue include a few uh wax melts in it possibly and a candle because i love those and i've got some that are disney scented and i've got some that i really love the sense of so they really help to calm me too um i'm also saving videos on like facebook and that that are like calligraphy or coloring paint swatching anything that i find that is really calming to me um so that when if i'm but, being really bad at night I can just go on my Facebook or whatever go to that folder and find videos that can help to relax me I also try to find I also use Headspace to again not sponsored, I'm not sponsored by anything this is this to like help calm me and soothe me and I'm using the tips and tricks and techniques that my therapist is telling me to do because we're doing EMDR so we're doing the stage one where it's slowing self-soothing techniques it's stabilization so when I do go into processing all the trauma that happened I've got ways to calm myself so when I'm doing those sessions at some point I'll be using the sensory box just to be able to help with my help me be able to cope with going through everything that happened to me if there's anything you think is really good in it let me know if there's anything you think that you found is beneficial if you have something like this or something that you use to help calm you or or anything like that let me know in the comments and yeah i'm trying to get better and this box i just noticed stitch in the corner um this box is really gonna help 